Hey guys, I am back with another video. And for those who don't know me, my name is Eva and I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos here on my YouTube channel. Um, thank you, welcome. Yeah. And um, as you can tell, I am like halfway done just because I want to do another holiday look for you guys, but I didn't want it to be like a 10 hours long. Um, and if you can see the little fuzzy hair over here, that's my son. And y'all probably hear him, so just FYI, just, you know, mom life. And I'm pumping, so, you know, you gotta keep it above. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I, like I said, I do have half of my face done. I already have my foundation, which is the Lancome, and underneath the primer, I mean, underneath the foundation, I have the primer. Um, Maybelline Blur Pore Minimizer, and for my brows, I did use the e.l.f. Cosmetics Retro Palette in the shade Cacao, um, and that's just the shade that I use for my brows, and I used the brow uh, for use from Anastasia. Now, we're going to go ahead and get straight to the eyes. I hope you guys... Um, can hear me clearly and I'm gonna actually use this beautiful color right here as the main color for my eyes um, this is from the Fenty Beauty um, what is it the Meta all over metallic powders um, I bought I believe last close to last Christmas I can't remember um, but these are just such beautiful beautiful colors this is kind of like between a white kind of silver but yet yellow tint to this color and i love 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 um this color this color the shade is in the shade cleopatra and the palette that i'm going to use today i'm going to go up oops uh i'm going to go in with the brown the chocolate brown um i'm going to go in and i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes but i'm going to go ahead and use the um Elf Cosmetics 16-hour um, concealer in the shade Warm, Medium Warm, and this is the color that I use for my concealing and highlighting and all that stuff. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that and just add it on my lids. Um, and you can use, you can literally use whatever primer you want, but I've been liking using this concealer. It's helped. I do actually like using concealer before I didn't, but now I do because this one actually holds up. And this is a matte concealer, so it mattifies your lids. So if you have oily lids, this will help. Of course, I'm sure a lot of people know about this concealer already, but. That's what we're using, and we're using our Eco Tools round fluffy brush. Um, this is just the blurring brush, and I've had that for quite a while already. And I'm just gonna be blending everything in, you guys. And this, I'm gonna try to keep this um, look pretty simple. This this look that I'm doing, I want to kind of like stay close to like a classic um classic silver black look but i wanted to incorporate the brown instead of the black um i just personally like how the black looks versus i mean not the black the brown versus the black i'm referring to like the darker shades like i like how the brown looks more than a black i feel for myself that's a black looks a little harsh just depending on how you use it on your eyes but now we're gonna go in and I'm actually gonna go in in the Morphe T9 natural territories palette and I'm gonna go in with the this shade right here which is straight up yep straight up and that's the shade that I'm gonna set to my concealer with and I'm probably gonna go back and forth with the this palette and the Huda, Huda, I can't pronounce it, Huda palette, and that way you guys know what palettes I'm using. Okay, so I kind of want this to be a, kind of like a smoky cat eye look, 
So I'm gonna go in with my blending brush, which is going to be this Eco Tools one. It's like a double ended, but I'm gonna use the round one. I'm gonna go in with the shade, let's see. I'm gonna light shade. So let's go with this shade right here in the center. Actually, I want that color. No, actually, I'm going to go back in with this palette, and I'm going to use this shade right here. <coughs> That's going to be my crease color. I kind of, I'm trying to really think if I want to um, deepen it really, like, dark, but I want to leave it light. I don't know yet. We'll see once this color is added and i'm kind of adding like a wing in the end and i'm just like drawing it literally drawing it in my eye you see how i have that there and then i'm gonna go in with my morphe m507 brush and that's what i'm gonna use to just blending And that's how I want that look to look. I mean, that eye to look. And then same thing with the other eye. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he really trying. I hope you guys are loving these. Ooh. Have oh my gosh, this boy is crazy, y'all. He is crazy. <laughs> He's getting so strong, you guys. Like it's insane how like much he moves. <laughs> Where are you going? Look, say hi to everyone. Say hi. <laughs> he woke up. Look at his face. <laughs> My baby, chunky, chunky, hi. Okay. It's hard because he moves so much. Anyways, so what I was doing, same thing, just blending it out, you guys. Ooh. Oh. Shade that I um just mentioned, Cleopatra from. Uh, fashion fashion uh fenty beauty and i'm using that color with my finger and i want to see how it like comes out first because i know i can put it on a brush and it'll come out really opaque well this this shadow itself is already really opaque where are you going really opaque but i want to try it with my finger first me trying to see like how opaque I want this color to be which I think honestly think I like it like that you see how pretty that color is and I'm gonna be doing the same exact thing with the other eye and maybe I'll put more of that shade on there but I just want to see how it looks first so bad you can literally use a brush to add this color too okay so i'm gonna leave it like that for now i do want to go ahead and deepen that shade i am gonna go without product first and just blend that part of the shadow out now we're gonna go in with I'm trying to see what color I want to do. I think I'm gonna go in with this middle shade right here. And I'm 
just going to deepen the crease. I'm going to go ahead and take this end and I'm going to go in with this dark shade right here and that's going to be my shade for the really the um, smoky I'm going to do it smoky not very precise and I'm just tapping it and gliding it and it's going to be the second part of the eye look I don't want it to be very intense, just enough to give it that effect on the eye look. And that's basically it with that eye. And then with the other eye, same thing. It doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. That's how I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Yeah. Really like how it's coming out. Next, we're gonna go ahead and finish the look. So this look, at, this part is gonna be super super fast, and hopefully my son stays still and doesn't go crazy. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> keep watching. <clears throat> Okay, you guys, so right here I am going to just finish up the face um, on super fast mode because my son just, it's one of those days, you guys, he is uh, not having it today, um, well, on this day, um, this is actually another day, but I decided that I would just do it fast forward, I will um, put all the products down below for you guys if you are interested in what I'm using for my face. And um, for my lips, um, in a few clips, I will show you um, the colors that I do end up putting on the lower side of my eyes. Um, the lower lid, I mean, uh, that I added on there to finish off the look. Um, it was one of those days, you guys. I know if you're a mommy, you, you understand what I mean. But yes, I'm going to go ahead and add that lipstick. And then, like I said, like I mentioned... I am adding that crease shade, and I will be adding one more, I believe. But yeah. Okay, you guys, this is the final look. I had to literally do a uh, fast forward to the rest of the look just because this boy was getting really cranky and it was just not gonna happen anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look it was probably one of the fastest looks that i've done so far but i really love the simplistic um simplisticness of this look just because you can get it done really quickly and it's not so precise and like very clean 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 where you have to literally like stay there for hours and hours and trying to do your makeup because being a mom being realistic here you cannot just be sitting there for freaking hours um anyways i will have everything down below for you guys if you are interested in any of the products that i did use and um if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up uh don't forget to subscribe if you haven't i thank you guys so much and i thank you again and again for coming back and watching me do these looks and i am trying to get out different um looks for you guys also but i thank you and i love you guys and until next time bye